welcome to another wonderful episode of your relationship the right way in Jenny moments. My name is Jennifer Ugu. It's another beautiful Friday, the first Friday of the year 2017. Wow, this is the first Friday of the year 2017. Wow, I'm so happy to have you here again today. Then, wow, <laughs> congratulations and welcome on board. If you're just seeing this video for the first time, don't worry, you are at the right place. This is where I talk about relationships, taking it from the moral perspective. Every blessed Friday, I come here and I talk. So, how am I looking today? Wow, I feel like Beyonce, you know. <laughs> yes. Thank you for subscribing to my channel because because of you I am here shining. You know, you are moving forward, you are going higher. And uh, yeah, it's all about that. So and this is what I do for a living. I talk about relationships. Taking it from the moral perspective, every aspect of relationship, be it how you will work, how you live with your boss, how you live with your wife, how you live with that street. Got more than years, and how you put all the sweet things about relationships because it's how you talk to people you don't even know. Yes, no, they are moving up, they are moving up. It's 27 things, and I am here for you. Yes, if you want to see more of me, don't worry, you are just gonna see one thing click on that red button, and you will see me every Friday on your. And everywhere, just follow me. You follow, 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 follow. <laughs> That's about that. This Friday, I know a lot of you are going to be visiting your loved ones. You're going to be going on vacation. You're going to be going on weekend getaway. You're going to go in on holiday. You're going to go in on everything with your family. Okay, and that is why every Friday I come here and talk about all the relationship we do have with our various people. Okay, okay, a woman is an island, so you can afford not to be late. So, this is what I do for a reason. Thank you for keeping me here. Yes, thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. Of course, you want to see more of me every day? <laughs> Just click on that subscribe button and you will see me every Friday right here for you. Yes, we have started in the NS today is the 6th of January 2017. Trust me, if you don't start this year, my dear, you already late to. So I know some of us have made all the resolutions, you know now, how they always go every year, doing the resolutions and all of that. Hmm. All that. So today, okay, I'm not gonna be bore you with all this new resolution thing. No, I am just going to go straight to the point okay i know that the first of this year you've already made your resolutions okay but i also know that some of us don't keep resolutions we are that kind of people you know who just say something we're going to do by first of january and by the end of january we have gone back to what we used to be so i know that some of us resolutions don't work for us okay but this year i want us to get our relationship life better all right i think that some of us have not been that best we can be you know, according to in terms of relationship but this year trust me i don't need it to draw up resolutions okay i just need to answer just one simple question if you answer the question correctly trust me yeah this year you're good to go all right and that question is what kind of old man or woman do you want to be this year yes answer it sincerely because it's when you answer it sincerely that you can be the best one of be. Okay, now I know that our status are not equal. Some are married, some are single, some do not want to get married, some are just um, happy with the way they are, okay, all enjoying. But the truth is that wherever you find yourself, as far as you're a human being, okay, you must get your relationship in the right. If you don't get the relationship right, you're going to have issues with life. Okay, so let me start with the married people. Now, are you a married man or a married woman? How have you been so far? I know you must have been the best 
okay, I'm not going to be doing well. But if you're not doing well, okay, it is time for you to check it, check it, check it, check it, check it, check it. I mean, check it, okay? Be that kind of wife that your husband will dream of never leaving, okay? Be that kind of husband that your wife will never dream to leave, okay? Now, in the home, okay, you don't start being like, oh, who is supposed to do the cooking? Who's supposed to do the cleaning? Now, you are married for companionship. Aside the rest of the other things that make you get married, okay? People will marry because of companionship, and this is why you have to, okay? Make your marriage work. Now, there's no perfect marriage, okay? But when you look at the people who are happy, who are happily married, you will find out that they are just two people who have said to be selfless, you know? Which is why we have breakups in marriages because we don't remove ourselves. We come into the marriage with the me, me thing. No, it doesn't work. If you watch marriage where it is working, you will see that the two people involved are selfless people, okay? They don't have to say, um, Mr. A, we have to do that. Mr. B, we have to do that. No, they are just together selfless. So that's not about that. Okay, so if you're going to learn something from this today, just learn to be selfless in your marriage this year, okay? So that you can be that kind of woman that you are supposed to be to your husband. You can be that kind of man you're supposed to be to your husband. You can also be that kind of mother for your children and for all people that look up to you. Okay, here's about that for the married people. Now, let me talk about what concerns me. Because me, I'm still single. Okay, so for all the single people, now, this is the big deal. Okay, this year, what kind of a lady or a guy do you want to be? Okay, how you can continue being the shadow of yourself because some of the person tells you you are not good. Are you going to continue being lazy? Are you going to continue just living for the living sake? You know, some of us just go through the year just like that without even making any improvement in our life and we think we are cool with it. Now, if you are a married, sorry, if you're a single girl, okay, I know you don't have the right to say, okay, this year 2017, I am going to get married because you might be saying that and your God is saying, no, girlfriend, you are going to be staying single till the end of 1717. So as far as God is saying you're still single, my dear, what are you doing with that time? That small time left for you to get married. That time you are waiting for that right man to come. What are you doing with it? Hmm? Now, you're supposed to be busy with that time, building your career, making yourself better, stop being rude, being more prayerful, stop being crazy. I don't mean <laughs> running mad as in Run on the streets naked. No, I mean all those things you don't do right. You know, you try to drop them. Try to make yourself a better woman. Try to enrich yourself. Try to build your career. Try to be more neat, more happy. Try to be smiley. Like, smile to people. Don't be rude to people. Just live a happy life. I don't see. Food man concept. Eh? He's already arranged yourself when you should be the kind of man that, the kind of woman that he will want to marry. When you are busy with your life, blazing up and down, you will not be able to do anything for yourself, okay? That's about that. So, if you are a man who is single, okay, this is the right time for you to decide what you're going to do with this year. Be that kind of husband that every girl will want to marry. That kind of husband that every girl will want to say, hey, this is my husband, okay? Get yourself busy with developing yourself, being that man, and all that, okay? So now, let's remove the people and all the love. Let's talk about do you now, okay? From the people you don't know, how do you treat them? Be that kind of people, that kind of person people can run into happily and say, sweetheart, thank you so much for being there. Thank you so much for keeping me, you know, where I am supposed to be. Thank you so much for giving me the care I need. Be that kind of girl. Be that kind of man. When you run into people, be nice to them, okay? When you meet people on the road, don't snap at them, don't accuse them, don't insult them. All right, when you work in a place, be that best you're supposed to be. That is what this is all about, okay? So, dear, I'm going to end this video for today. I hope you enjoyed every bit I've said, and I hope you are just going to click that red button because I want to see you here every week. I don't want to look for you. <laughs> yes, so until then, be the best you can be and answer this question sincerely what kind of old person do you want to be this year 2017 as i come your way next week 
Jennifer loves you. I hope you love my swag. Thank you and bye.